Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm not going to be teaching you guys about a specific animal species, but more something that affects us as people and thousands and thousands of animal species across the world. Luckily I've had the amazing opportunity to go to plenty of zoos and aquariums and learn and teach you guys about all these amazing animals and good conservation that is going to protect these animals. And I've also had the misfortune of learning about several bad things that are going on in the environment as well. And unsustainable palm oil growth is definitely one of those. The trees that produce this oil can only be grown in tropical areas. And the oil produced from these trees are found in plenty of food products, detergents, and beauty cosmetics that line our store shelves. The World Wildlife Fund says that over half of the products that Americans buy contain palm oil. Palm oil is a very lucrative crop in the tropical areas of Asia, Africa, and Latin America. And that is because they have a much higher yield and a lesser cost than any other vegetable oil. And that is causing farmers to increase the number of palm oil plantations. These trees, like most palm trees, develop a small nut-like fruit that grow in large bundles up in the trees. And they get the more common palm oil from the skin of these small fruits. And they get the lesser known palm kernel oil from the flesh of the fruit. Some of you guys may be thinking, well that doesn't sound all that bad. But here's the real kicker. All of these trees, like I mentioned before, grow in only tropical areas, the same regions as tropical rainforests and jungles. So as these plantations grow and expand, the area for these rainforests and jungles gets smaller and smaller, forcing all the native wildlife into smaller and smaller areas and taking away their traditional homes. And with that is kicking out animals such as elephants, rhinos, tapirs, gibbons, other monkey and ape species, various reptiles and tropical birds. And with smaller environments and people getting closer and closer to the uh, jungles in these rainforests, you have a lot more animal and human interactions. And as history has shown us before, if typically if there's a conflict between a person and an animal, typically the animal is the loser. And as terrible as the deforestation is, it's really not even the worst part of this. It gets even worse when you talk about the method of clearing these large areas of forest. And the cheapest and easiest method is slash and burn. So that method is they go into the rainforest that they have to cut out and they cut down every single tree, bush, limb, or any other obstacle that's in their way. And then they burn it all. Sometimes it's in a big pile, but a lot of the time it's just wherever the tree or the brush lays, it's where it's getting burnt. And a lot of the larger animals can get out of the way and the birds can fly away. But there's so many other species of animals that can't escape the fire fast enough. If they can't move fast enough for the fire, then they perish to the fire as well. Plenty of reptile species, amphibians, small monkey species, birds that can't fly yet, rodents, other small mammals, uh, and any other like, animals that are in the air that can't move fast will perish to us. So chances are thousands and thousands of animals are perishing to these fires every single time they have one. As more and more plantations are being built and more and more trees are taken out, researchers are seeing a whole lot more soil pollution, like soil and water pollution together actually, in areas that were once considered pristine forest and stream habitat. And as they keep building more palm oil mills along the river system, they keep adding more pollutants into the water along with the use of pesticides and fertilizers. As these river systems become more polluted with silt from the soil erosion, a lot of animals and people that actually rely on the river and the stream system are being affected significantly. Local villages that are built along the rivers that rely on fishing and hunting along these systems are being affected because they have noticed a significant decrease in these freshwater animals such as eels, crustaceans, turtles, fish, and various amphibians. Now after hearing all of that, you may be thinking of ways that you can help prevent this deforestation and promoting sustainable palm oil farming. And this is actually quite simple, is to change your shopping habits and to prevent, you, prevent yourself sorry, from buying products that contain palm oil. Now, now you may be thinking, Cole, how do I know what products contain palm oil? Well that's great because I have just the app for you. Two years ago when I was up in Colorado Springs visiting the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, I found out about the Palm Oil app which helps you determine what products have palm oil and which ones are good alternatives for ones that do. 
and all you have to do is go to the store and look up what item you want to buy and it will tell you whether it has palm oil or if it doesn't and if it does they'll come up with alternatives for food that are similar to it that do not contain palm oil or you can even scan the barcode on the box itself or the package and it will tell you if the product has palm oil or not this is what the app looks like and this is available on all smartphones on your app store and once you download the app this is the home page here and from there you could type in the search bar what item you are looking at buying and it will tell you if it has palm oil or if it does not and if it does contain palm oil it will tell you alternatives for foods that do not have palm oil and again it does have a feature where you can scan the barcode on the packaging of the food item and it will tell you whether it does or does not have palm oil and then other alternatives for foods that if it does have palm oil in it since learning about the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo's app, I've done more research and I found another app that may be helpful for you guys. And the app name is Palm Smart, and this is what it'll look like in the App Store. And this app allows you to scan the barcodes on the packages, and it will give you grades on the companies based on their use of palm oil and some other information as well. So using these two apps, you can get a pretty good idea of what uh, products actually use palm oil and which ones do not, and good alternatives for them as well. Now let's say that you've already changed your shopping habits or you already did that prior to this video and you want to be able to do more. Well there's always more that you can do. You can start petitions for these companies to change how they make their products and to not use palm oil in their products. And if enough people sign these petitions and contact the company, some of these manufacturers may change the way they make their products. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this very informative video. That uh, didn't have to do anything directly with animals, but affects thousands of animal species around the world. And I've heard a little bit here and there over like the several years of me doing this, but I had to do a little bit more research to connect all the dots. Because in a lot of my videos, you hear of deforestation, or this species endangered, or this one's endangered, this one's threatened, this one's near extinction. Unfortunately, that's the sad reality for a lot of animals, because deforestation and habitat loss affects a lot of these species. And there's thousands, there's so much diversity in rainforests and jungles ar around the world. So these plantations taking up one of the most diverse areas of wildlife in the, on the planet is going to affect a lot of animals and you guys can definitely do something to save that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.